Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Obsidian Shortcut Launcher, which is a Mac Stories plugin that launches shortcuts from Obsidian, lets you pass a bunch of variables if you want it. And it's really very useful. It's helped streamline two workflows for me. Um, and it's been really nice on Mac OS and on iPad OS to have both of these workflows basically the same. Before we do that, you can support the channel a couple ways. Become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Or if you already have a Skillshare membership, links to my courses on Skillshare are below. Buckle up. Let's talk about shortcuts in Obsidian. Now, the first thing you're gonna to need to do to get this plugin is to go to your um, community plugins in your settings. And you're gonna to go to browse and you're gonna bring up shortcuts. There's actually a few of them that will match this name. So it's right here, shortcut launcher. So here you'll have enable and inst install and enable. I've already done this, so we can jump straight to options. And the first thing we're gonna look at is Ulysses. So the first thing you need to do is decide how you're going to name this in your shortcut, how you're gonna trigger it from the command palette. I've chosen Ulysses. And then you need to know the exact shortcut name. So if I go over to shortcuts, that is the actual title right here of the item. So mark down to Ulysses, I put that in there. And then you're gonna to to decide what parameter you're gonna pass. And there's a bunch. You can choose selected text, and you can choose selected link embed content. So this is gonna take any double square bracketed link a linked document in your notes and embed that entire note in it. Current paragraph, so whatever your cursor is on. Entire document, everything in the document. Link to document, this is the Obsidian URI. Document name, so this is the actual name of your file. Or document path, this is the path in Obsidian to your document. For this context, I'm choosing selected text um, because I don't want my whole document because of how they're set up. So let's save and I'll come out. So the reason I don't want the whole document is because I've got all this other metadata at the top of my document that I just don't need in uh, Ulysses. So to get this to work, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to select the whole thing, and then I will type Command P and go to Ulysses. Now this is gonna open up Ulysses. Uh, you can see I've already done this a couple times because ScreenFlow has not been recording for me this morning. But this is the document we just created, and this is what I would give it a title. So and then from here, I would actually publish it out to WordPress after doing some more work on it, just to kind of clean it up. I don't use the Obsidian WordPress plugin because it's actually really bad. It's just not really uh, as useful as Ulysses integration with WordPress. Now for the next one, we're gonna switch over to my iPad because good task, the task manager I use doesn't support uh, shortcuts on Mac OS at this moment. So that's a limitation of my implementation. If your task manager supports shortcuts on Mac OS, you're good to go. So for this one, we actually need to pass a few parameters. So let's open up our shortcuts launcher again, uh, shortcut launcher. And I'm gonna go to new task. And so I've named it new task. The shortcut name is actually note to good task, which we'll look at this in a minute. I've chosen multiple parameters because I want to send the document name, the actual name of the file, and I want to send the URL in Obsidian so that I can get back to it with a single click from anywhere. So once I've sent this to good task, I can actually click back through it uh, to get to it on my Mac OS because it will recognize the Obsidian URI on Mac OS. It just can't actually send it into good task on Mac OS currently. Uh, and then I link to my document, the document name and the link to my document. And then I use comma as a separator. So this, when it tries to combine these two, the document name and the title, it actually just splits them by that comma. And then I can use that in a minute, which I'll show you, to actually parse out the data for myself. So let's open up good task and make sure, since I've recorded multiple times that this is not in here. We removed this, Obsidian shortcut launcher, resolved it. So here I'll go new task. It runs. And then I can go to good task and you can see I've got my new task right here. If I click on this, it has taken me to my note. And actually I'll show you that even better. If I go to a different note, I can come back into Obsidian or into good task, click on it, and I've opened up the shortcut or the note that I wanted. So how does this shortcut work? This is a little more complex. So what this does is that first of all, it's gonna take anything I send into it or any text I send into it because I am sending text um, it's going to split by a custom variable. So by custom, and a custom character is the comma, like I said. Uh, and then it's going to take, when it splits items, it actually kind of creates, I guess I would call it an array as a programmer, but multiple items. So it's going to loop through each of these items. And the first thing it's going to do is if the repeat item contains obsidian colon, it's going to view that as the URL. So I'm gonna set a variable of URL to whatever the repeat item is. So as it's looping through, the repeat item is what is looping through currently. Then if it doesn't find obsidian colon, it's going to assume it's the title and set variable of title. And then if I come down here, you can see I've used title as my variable, add new task to my inbox, 
with the title and add uh, the URL in the notes field. And that's what that gives me. Um, now there are a few caveats and you've seen some of them as we've been running. So when you run these on Mac OS, it'll run them in terminal, runs them in the background, doesn't open shortcuts for you. This is a Apple thing. This is a limitation of the software uh, on iPad OS. So it can't actually run it in the background. It needs to open shortcuts. Another note is base64 encoding. So you can send attachments into this shortcut and it will work just fine. I'd need to change what I've allowed there because I've only allowed text. I'd need to allow other things. Uh, probably, although base64 encoding is text, so I guess I'd have to check that. But there is more information in my show notes, a link out to the Mac Stories article on this, which goes into more detail. So when you base64 encode a short a attachment and send it in to shortcuts, you actually need to decode it to do anything with it, to get the file out, to get the image back out. So you need to decode it, and then you could save the image to somewhere else, or do whatever else you want with it. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Uh, support membership, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Uh, courses, curtismichael.ca slash education. Or if you're on Skillshare, links to all of it below. Have an excellent day.